Hi, welcome to the world of neural pruning. My name is Imtiaz Khan. I've got 13 years of experience in teaching. I'll tell you about the importance of physical chemistry. In chemistry, there are four branches. Physical, inorganic, organic and biochemistry. So, importance of physical chemistry in our daily life. If you want to prepare a specific solution of specific concentration so you should know about a physical chemistry or if you want to manufacture or you want to synthesize any medicine it should have a specific concentration again it a physical chemistry plays a role in that if you want to extract enzyme from the plants or animals enzymes are specifically stable at particular pH or temperature again pH comes physical chemistry plays an important role Okay, let us start with the first chapter of 12th, Solids. Solids. Solids are broadly classified into two types, crystalline solid and amorphous, based on the arrangement of constituent particles. Got it? Constituent particles may be atoms, ions or molecules. What are crystalline solid? The constituent particles are regularly arranged in a three-dimensional space to give a definite geometrical shape. This is a geometrical shape what we are getting. When you draw a line, we get a definite geometrical shape. This is a crystalline solid. What are amorphous? The constituent particles are irregularly arranged and they do not give any definite geometrical shape. Such are called amorphous. Crystalline solids, sometimes they are referred as true solids. Whereas amorphous as referred as pseudo solids. Third, they have sharp melting point, do not have sharp melting point. Crystalline solids, if you see the constituent particles are long range order, where you take it as it is a short range order. The fifth difference is crystalline solids are generally an isotropic whereas amorphous are isotropic in nature. 